Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of Austin's OHRPGs, where I look at RPGs that I made using the official Hamster Republic role-playing game construction engine. Uh, we're finally to the good one that I've been saving for a while. We've looked at the bad ones. We've looked at Wormy, which is good, uh, but unfinished and probably too full of inside jokes for mass consumption. However, you can download Wormy, uh, the current version anyway, that's full of bugs off of my blog. Uh, and my friend De Kai and I are actually working on Wormy again. After like 18 or 19 years, we decided this is a lot of potential and it's super fun and we've got the means of working on it together. So let's work on it again. So anyway, we're going to be working on that. But today, I'm not talking about Wormy, I'm talking about Final Quest. So as you can see, I've worked on a lot of RPGs over the years, uh, none of them on, none of them finished, and so eventually I was like, you know what, I'm done. This has got to yield fruits eventually. So I was like, let's try one final time, and I named it Final Quest as a result. This is my final attempt to finish an OHRPG. And I got pretty far, uh, and I think I'm going to keep working on it. Um, but let's go and look at that today. It's much better fleshed out. The only thing is, as you can see with the tagline here, plot first, then graphics. Uh, my philosophy was, I think I was working too hard on making the graphics look good on the games, and then I'd get burned out, and I'd never actually finish a good RPG. So instead, I just made a bunch of stick figures, a bunch of just quick little animations, which was not, it was not easy uh, to dumb down my art skills because I was not satisfied with them sometimes and I'd start spending a lot of like too much time on them that kind of thing but uh it's kind of rounded out and um I spent um quite a bit of time making notes for the heroes well let's just go ahead and jump in and you'll see what I mean probably <laughs> so yeah didn't even try with the opening screen <laughs> But it's better than uh, better than it looks. So here we go. All right, Victus. All right, kid, listen up. We ain't got time for no storyline or nothing. We just gotta run in there, capture the Duke, and get out of here. See? Intruders! <sighs> just try not to get in the way. All right, kid. So the idea here is uh, I took kind of a Metroid approach where you start out with all of your abilities and then you lose them and then you have to start over, but that first sort of taste kind of gets you excited for what you have to look forward to. So I did that in a slightly, in a different sort of way, and that's by you being the main character, Roland, and being basically babysat by this older, more experienced paladin, Victus. So yeah, you got Roland here, who's the main character, level one, doesn't have any abilities really. And then you got Victus, who's fully leveled up as a warrior, and then he's even a pa got some paladin abilities. So basically the idea with warriors like them is you attack, and then you get rage. So he gets 20 rage every time he attacks, and then uh, Roland gets 10. So anyway, Victus has some really powerful abilities like war spin. <laughs> I wish that... Uh, I wish it had better animations, like, you know, Chrono spinning around on Chrono Trigger would have been kind of cool. Oh, we got some wizards this time. And yeah, as you can see, like, well, let's see how well uh, Roland does against these Maguses, Magi or whatever. Oh, lightning, but missed Victus. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna keep attacking, I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 so... In, in this case, when Roland attacks, his leader bonus is that when he, when he's the first in the line, uh, he heals everybody else a little bit every time he attacks. Or maybe there's just a chance for that to happen. Oh boy. Would not want to... Uh... There we go. <laughs> Wouldn't want to let your uh, let the sun's the king's son die when you're supposed to be taking care of him got new death animations which are pretty fun those of you who played runescape might recognize the death sound <laughs> i was pretty proud of ripping that off the game all right well it leveled up uh, the sound effects are really like 
low quality, like too low quality. I'll have to fix that. I think I intentionally lowered the quality of the sound to make it sound more like a video game, but it just kind of sounds bad. Eh, might as well fight these guys. So yeah, you got this whole castle full of just, you know, enemies. Uh, Alright, uh, let's try something else. Let's do uh, Rampage. Ooh, it's random. He attacks multiple times, and it costs hit points each time. Very cool. I think it might have a chance of, like, never stopping if you're bad luck or something, so it might hurt yourself pretty bad. Alright. We're almost here. Might as well get all the experience out of what I can, right? Is that is that cheating? Should I... Uh, interesting. Roar. Demor demoralize the enemy's strength. Counter. Return damage while gaining rage. Quake. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's try that. Does he jump? Yeah, he jumps in the air. <laughs> Very fun. Ooh, a gong sound. Roll and learn slice, which I believe does bleeding damage. If I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I, I tried to make it like intentionally annoying how many an, uh, enemies there were here. Because it's not hard at all for Victus to just mow through them. He's like, what, a level 60? Yeah, he's a level 60 paladin. So, anyway, here is a statue of time. We can preserve this moment in time to come back later. So that was my way of like, you know, <laughs> explaining save slots, basically. Let's go ahead and save that. Duke's dungeon is where we are. All right, and here is Duke. <laughs> I like his coat of arms. It's just like a laughing face. Ra 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 ra! Fools and idiots! You've come to the end of your quest to find a man who won't cooperate. Look, Duke. You know who I am. You know who sent me. Just come quietly, and we won't do any more damage to your army. Come quietly, raha! I've told that dunderhead brother of mine a million times he'll never take me alive. Seize them, special soldiers. So now we got a mini boss battle, but of course to Victus. Like, yeah, it's just, it's not gonna be any uh, contest here. I should probably lower the experience to like basically nothing, because the whole point is that he's babysitting you the whole time, and so you're not getting any experience because he's doing it all. Well, slap me silly and call me Duchess. You defeated my special soldiers. Yeah, and we're gonna have to rough you up in a minute if you don't surrender. You and that poophead king of yours don't get it, do you? I'm not coming, and that's that. Go cry to your dirty mother in that dung heap of a country of yours. That does it, old man. You've insulted my mother, my country, and my sovereign in a single breath, and for this you will taste my blade. Then bring it on, you ninny. Uh-oh. The Mad Duke. Not very strong, though, is he? But he is good at dodging, apparently. Uh-oh. I didn't kill him in one hit. Oh, killed him in two hits. What have I done? Let's get out of here, Roland. I need to expect I need to accept responsibility for my actions as soon as possible. Able Hawk presents final quest. I was still always too lazy to learn scripting for cutscenes, so I would just draw stuff like this, but I like it better in some ways. Made on the OHRPGCE. Oh, yes, I can draw better. I just didn't want to. Now we're back at the castle. Lord Arthur Victus of Grey Crown, you are charged with defiance to the will of our sovereign King Aglis and the assassination of his brother, Duke. And worse, he did this in the presence of my son. And all of this in the presence of his majesty's son, Prince Robert. Lord Victus, I am most disappointed in you. I trusted you as the greatest paladin in Grey Crown, and you scandalously disobeyed direct orders for shame word, my lord? Because you have noble background, I will not behead you where you stand. Instead, I sentence you to time in the royal dungeon until further notice, perhaps for life. What is the condition, lord, for the record? That 
until someone writes is wrong. Seize him. My lord, I'm so sorry. So that was about as much as my, uh, you know, scripting abilities allowed, so. So yeah, and uh, that's it begins. Let's talk to our father here. Roland, my son, please accept my apologies. I expected more of Victus. I should not have risked you witnessing blatant disregard to my command. Roland, I'm afraid it's better for you to return to Guildmaster Rayoff. He will continue your training. I, uh, the name Aglis I made up when I was in, like, third grade. He was also a king that I was writing about. It's a real shame. He was such a noble paladin. I love how nobody really cares about that he murdered and spilled royal blood. They're mostly just mad that he disobeyed the king who said to take him alive. Was the quest enjoyable? Besides, of course, the whole problem with Victus. Lord Victus killed him as a troop. Yeah, they all kind of say the same thing. Uh, I'm going to actually take some notes on bugs that I need to fix for the future. Because I'm probably going to want to start working on this once I play it a little more. All right, so let's go to the skill master. Good luck, son. All right, so now for each character, you get, um, we got a class, we got weapons they can wield, we got armor they can wear, which in this case is, so he's a warrior, he can uh, wield swords, clubs and axes, uh, he can wear plate and mail. Got a lot of uh, inspiration from craft with this obviously but so the way his sp works is rage each attack you make with your equipped weapon increases your rage which can be used on warfare abilities and then the special stat uh which is usually like magic for wizards in this case is fervor so it increases the effectiveness of bleeding status modifying, abil status modifying abilities etc uh and then my leader bonus so if there's somebody in the front of the army, like whoever's leading the, the little adventuring party, gets a leader bonus. So when he's in the front, he has a leadership ability. If Roland is the party's leader, his normal attacks have a chance to heal the party depending on his range. <laughs> this has got some good music that I wonder if anybody will recognize. But Okay, so as you can see, I took a minimalistic approach with the graphics, but it was so easy to program, and I feel like that's what made me want to keep working on this, because like the grass doesn't have any texture i can just add little details here and there and honestly it looks pretty good like i mean obviously it's lazy and i don't like the way that npcs look and the graphics that way but as far as like the terrain sure is easy to go so let me go let's go back inside the castle here because there's more stuff to do i should probably port out here when he's done but i don't know and uh, Roland is a silent protagonist unless he talks about, unless he uh, refers to those uh, statues, which is kind of funny. Let's go upstairs here. All right, I think this is my bedroom. Oh, there's no treasure chest there. Interesting, I wonder if that was intentional. March 12, 1340. Dear Journal, the coded message was traced back to none other than Uncle Duke. Father is furious and is sending me and Lord Victus to capture him tomorrow. So yeah, you never really understand, like, you don't really find out, like, the whole story of, like, why, you know, why they were trying to capture Duke, but it was apparently something like that. Gonna rest? Sure, why not? Yeah, there probably should have been something in that uh, treasure chest, like maybe Roland's, I don't know. Oh, I kept a rage potion, and, uh five healing potions, it's not bad. No, I can't open the writ. 208 gold, that's not a bad haul either. Alright, let's see if there's anything downstairs. Castle here, oh, nothing there. Gotta fix that eventually. Let's keep going down deeper. Ah, now here's the dungeon. And that guy is Zane. Uh, Zandalus, also known as Zane, and he's a character that you're going that's going to join the party eventually. He's like an insane warlock. 
Oh, look, the prince approaches. Yes, I agree. A proud look about him. Yes, good thing you're here to keep company. Can't break him up. Pesky great crowd like him. Twas his father tr threw me in here in the first place. Mistake indeed. So yeah, he's insane. He talks to ghosts. And etc. Hey, hey, you're the prince, right? Hey, look, could you get me out of here, please? It wasn't me, I swear. I was framed. Hey, hey, the print. Oh, they all said the same thing. That one's moving a little slower, though. What does he say? Oh, it's Victus, of course. Hey, kid, how's it going? Look, I'm really sorry for what I did. I was a fool. I deserve to be in here for the rest of my life. That, uh, does not work with, uh, his... He's got his, like, main kind of chin strap beard, so I'll have to fix that. It's cool that his portrait kind of shows him sad now, though. He's just like, ah. Uh. And what does this guy say? It was very odd to throw the Paladin Captain in here. What exactly did he do to deserve this? And then, can I go back in the throne room? I feel like that shouldn't be allowed this early in the thing, huh? I can't believe that he killed my own brother. Yeah. Alright, so now let's get on with our adventure here. So, obviously, that is a secret treasure chest, and uh, depending on how much I've debugged this, we'll find out if we can go get it. Alright, so here's a blacksmith. Let's try this out. It's got all my favorite sounds in it. Uh, music, I love it. I see you have a great crown sword yourself, eh? Not much time to make stronger swords, which with the demand. Quite a shame. So, yeah, I guess that's what he has. Yeah, he has a great crown sword, so... Apparently it doesn't give any bonuses whatsoever. I've been supplying plenty of armor for Grey Crown soldiers. If you want to buy something, come talk to me. I love the suit of armor, how I just literally got the uh, <laughs> the stick figure body and outlined it in armor. So yeah, Ferdinand. Roland, my boy, how are you? I've been supplying your dad's army, so I'm pretty busy. Anything to trade? So you can buy a full suit of Grey Crown armor. Oh, okay, so I guess it gives a little bit of strength. Uh, I have 208 gold, so I could buy a few things of this. Why not? Oh yeah, let's look at the uh, let's look at the slots real quick. So we got weapon offhand, which is kind of fun because that means you could have a shield, you could have an offhand weapon, you could hold a lantern or a uh, a, a mystical orb if you're a wizard. I thought that would be a really fun one. And then we got armor, garb, which is just basically secondary armor, like a cape, or in this case, a helmet. Uh, it could be a hat, you know, anything. So I, I left these open. And then accessory, which could be any type of jewelry, probably. So let's go ahead and buy whatever is the most beneficial, I guess. So we got, so having a shield in the off hand lowers your accuracy and agility a little bit, but plus five defense. Armor lowers, oh, that's a robe, and it lowers your strength, but it gives you uh, some magical abilities. Interesting. I feel like it should probably just give you more mana if it was, maybe I'll change that eventually. And then chain mail is four defense to agility. Plate mail is 10 defense, but a little bit less magic resistance and speed and stuff. And the helmet is just all around good. Let's get a helmet for sure. And maybe some mail. Yeah, no, no downsides to those, so. Very nice way to start out, I guess. And who's this old man? Otis. Eh, hey, what's that? Can't you see I'm working here? Go talk to Ferdy if you want to buy something. Dad, I told you not to call me Ferdy. <laughs> so yeah, fun to, uh, again, it was fun to just keep things simple. Arnsby. Ah, I remember when we, me and my men, built this fort. Square towers sure are easy to build. <laughs> that was a reference to how I just made everything really simple and you know, didn't even bother making the rounded corners for towers or anything. Alright, let's keep looking around here. What are these guys talking about? I think I'm losing my voice again. Too much shouting for the king and whatnot. <laughs> pretended that I was losing my voice so I could take a break. You won't tell, will you? <laughs> I kind of like little uh, 
little uh, lines like that in Final Fantasy games. Alright, ooh, some kind of magic guild over there. Can't wait to see that. What else are these guards doing? For Grey Crown and for King Aglis. I like that sound. It's from Age of Mythology. Alright, I'm just gonna cheat and step down off the wall here. Just so I can save some time there. Oh yeah, so this is just them probably. Yeah, for Grey Crown and for King Aglis, they're just doing drills on yelling, I guess. For Grey Crown, not now, Roland, we're doing drills. And for King Aglis, yes. <laughs> Anything secret in this fountain? Nope. Seems like a fountain that I would have something secret in. And what do we got here? Let's try out the Mage's Guild. Okay, there's a lot of RuneScape music on this, which, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to. Okay, there's something scrolled. Yeah, what does this writing mean? So, oh, somebody's written a spell on the wall in runes. Only wizards can read it. So that's a leader ability of uh, wizards, if you didn't guess. Uh, just for the sake of fun, let's see what the uh, runes say. Spell casting. That's funny. Pink torches, very cool. Not, not sure what those books are supposed to do. Great crown maga. Apparently I made a female word for mage, magus, which is maga. Salutations, my lord. I know you're not much of a spellcaster, no offense, but if you'd like to buy a spell book for a friend, have a look at my wares. Oh, apparently she doesn't have a shop set up, so I'll make note of that. And what are these? Oh, I, these guys are funny if I remember right. Magic is as magic does, you know. Once a magus, always a magus. Remember that. Magic here's all imported, but the other mage guilds extract theirs directly from nature itself. One good spell deserves another, that's what I always say. <laughs> so they're always just they're all just saying like vague maxims about spells that make no sense. Magic is as magic does, you know. Ah, Chancellor Fredicus. Here we got somebody uh, important, because they have a portrait. Good morning. You've got us at a bit of an embarrassing time, my lord. I'm afraid one of the portal's cores has gone missing, and we've lost contact with the mages at Storm Tower. We'll let you know if we find out where it went. It's Magus, always Magus. Alright, so some kind of portal. Looks pretty fun. To definitely come back for that later. And the, uh, yeah, the Mage Guild does have a second level. Kind of cool. Okay, let's go on our adventure if there's nothing else to see. Let's leave Grey Crown Castle here. Ah, oh, I love this music. <coughs> From uh, Twilight Princess. Crown Town. Good morning, your lordship. Good morning. So basically for stick figures, I have a stick for men, and then for women, I give them a little bust and make their arms bare to make them look more feminine. And I guess it worked. All right, Great Crown Castle, Kingdom Crossroads, that sounds fun, Adventures Guild, and the Woods. All right, let's check out these houses. Good morning. Residence of Mrs. B. Casey, huh? Knock, knock. No answer. Kind of fun uh, changing the tropes here, you know? Usually you can just walk right in, but if the door's closed, then you have to knock. But this one's open. Oh, you just walked into my home. Did I leave that door open? <laughs> um, I'm not used to visitors. Would you mind leaving? I just left the door open for some fresh air. Is this... That'd be funny if you could rest in his bed, but you can't take his stuff. 23 gold. Hey, that's mine, but I guess you can have it? <laughs> so this was obviously to, uh, you know, kind of throw that trope on its head of the freeloading hero. 23 gold, that's not even that much, and that was probably his life savings. Uh, oh, we got a tavern here. Looking for help with problems? Too many rats in your basement? Seeking employment in the hero or quester business? Guildmaster Rayoff seeks recruits and missions at the Adventures Guild. Register today at Kingdom Crossroads, where quest logs begin. Quite a few, uh, you know, fourth wall breakings in here. What's this guy doing? Oh, good morning. So they're all just, that's all they say is good morning. Let's go into the, uh... Oh, gosh, I can't believe I got this song. So this song is from Incredible Machine. And 
I slowed it down slightly. Wow, I'm working hard on this. Okay, what do we got this old man? Oh, he's sleeping. If tea cures poison, what would happen if you drink poison tea? <laughs> okay, so see little hints here about the game. Apparently you can buy tea that cures poison. This beer tastes like celery. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Lydia. Yeah, hi, Rolden. Kind of busy serving people here. Maybe we can talk later. Apparently she, kind of, I kind of had it in my mind that she's Roland's girlfriend and like later you can like buy a diamond ring or something. That could be kind of fun, but anyway, she doesn't have a portrait yet. I'll have to add one. Okay, so a little explanation about these elves, which is I'm pretty sure what these green people are. Yeah, they're emerald elves. <sighs> okay, so this accent looks weird, but basically all it is is you talk without closing your lips. So, what do you mean you don't serve more than three drinks? Is it because I'm an elf? This is racism. So that's pretty funny. Gerard, what can I get you? We got beer for the drinkers and tea for the non-drinkers. If you don't drink and you don't like tea, well, then I'm not sure why you come in here. <laughs> I like this guy. So you got beer. Yeah, so in games, beer you know, increases your strength and lowers your accuracy or something like that. But in this game, it just literally gets you drunk. Like, it lowers your accuracy. Like, what did you expect? And tea cures poison, burning, and bleeding. And I do that because there's no way to differentiate between different types of poisoning. And if you think about it, all of these are different types of poison. Burning just does fire damage, poison does poison damage, and bleeding does physical damage or whatever. So anyway, kind of funny. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll buy tea. And my reasoning is, I guess you pour it on the burning and it puts it out, I guess? I don't know about the ble bleeding, though. Uh, and you can sleep there. I don't need that, obviously. Let's talk to these other Emerald Elves. You aren't the Darnade. Go tell her to drink us another drink. What are you looking at? Leave us alone. So the idea between these Elves uh, probably deserves some explanation. Okay, so this is a thing that was on homestarrunner.com a while ago. It was like this sample of Peasant's Quest 2, and this hot elf character is what I based those off of. The green skin, the orange clothes, the blonde hair. So anyway, it's pretty funny. Basically it says, these smoking hotties lived only behind waterfalls until online gaming forced them from their homes. Aside from their dangerous curves, they also have the coolest weapons in the realm. Seriously, this one sword is actually like two swords and shoots poisonous grappling arrows out of it all full up. Anyway. So that's what they're referenced to, uh, and got some cool stuff in mind for them. Oh, who's this dark figure in the corner? Rogue, and he doesn't say anything. So we'll just, but he has a portrait, so he's probably uh, important. Okay, let's go check out those spooky woods. Beware, the gloom of the woods hides monstrous beasts, bring something to light the way. So this, I was kind of proud of this mechanic. So basically, when you go into the forest, see, it's completely dark. You can actually, if you look close, well, I'm not sure if you can, but there's tiny little indicators of where the walls are just for the editor's purpose. But yeah, there's nothing in here. It's just completely darkness, and you see evil eyes in the darkness. And when you attack them, they always miss. Like, always. They have 100% dodge. Because you can't see what you're attacking. So you just have to run away. And you cannot attack them, see what they are, or go forward and until you uh, get a lantern, so we'll be back probably. I doubt the peasants have anything else interesting to say, so let's move forward here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, who's this blue-eyed? Oh, it's a child. My dad got a job at the Adventurers Guild doing quests. I can't wait till I'm bigger so I can go fight monsters and stuff. Does he hop around? He kind of twitches around, I guess, but... Oh yeah, he does jump around. You can see a little shadow when he jumps. That's funny. It doesn't look very good, though. I'll have to fix that. Shadow child. Hopefully I'll remember what that means later. Alright, what do we got here? Looking for help with problems? Too many? Oh, that's just a Adventures Guild flyer. Okay, uh, oh yeah, we got some horses. Do they say anything when you talk to them? Oh my gosh, I can't... Nay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, get out of my way. Okay, here we go. 
Let's go into this place. The Academy, Great Crown Academy. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so you look for the guy who has the same, the right palette of you, which is this guy in this case. Master Tiwaz. These guys are all named after runes. Uh, oh wow. Okay, so I went crazy with the accents on this game. Let's see how many I was able to say and dictate in just text alone. Ooh, thou art a warrior, art thou not? I am Master Tiwaz, writer of many warrior books and master swordsman. Wouldst thou like to learn from me? So, apparently the crown, if there's a crown, it's like a book that can teach um, warriors, in this case Roland, uh, books. Alright, train me. Thou art wise to have me as thy master prince. I can teach thee a new warfare ability if thou wilt simply destroy this training golem. Kill it then. Ooh, it's uh. It's hit me here. Let's uh. Let's go ahead and defend. Let's do a little more. Okay, I better heal myself then. Alright, now just kill it. I think I have a slice ability, right? Sure, he'll slice. Alright, now it's bleeding. Not sure how a golem can do that, should probably fix that. Maybe it's full of sheep's blood or something. Let's see if I can stack. Alright, yeah, it's, it's all I have, so I might as well keep using it. Oh, that's all. Gotta keep attacking to get more, more rage up. The only thing I wish that this OHRPG had was, like, status indicators. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, 100 experience, level up. I learned hamstring. Thou art truly a brave warrior. I shall teach thee a new warfare technique to use in battle. Adrenaline rush. Okay, so I will use that. It's a really annoying and long sound effect. I'll have to change that at some point. All right, so uh, yeah, I got Adrenaline Rush. Very cool. Um, and then who's this guy? Yo, man, if you be finding any rogues that need training, tell them there ain't no better than Master Perth. So Master Perth is apparently Jamaican accent, and uh, he trains rogues, so, you know, definitely we're going to find that rogue. Oh, he should have white eyes. Interesting. Um, all right, and here's another golem or whatever. Oh, we got a ladder up here. Ah, okay, I haven't implemented that yet, but basically there's one for every class, and they have your same palette, so they have their same colors, so you can tell who works with who. Oh, who's this pale fellow? Master Hagalas. Yes, perhaps I am a vampire. What of it? Not all vampires are ruthless fiends. I am only here to train warlocks. So, once we get that warlock guy, Zane, he'll do a little training thing for him, too. So, kind of a fun mechanic, in my opinion. Alright, let's go to the Kingdom Crossroads. I had to do a little fenced-off area there, so it's easier for the door entry. Okay, this is fun. We got a little marketplace here. Statue of Time. Might as well save for sure. Okay, what do we got here? Arkel. Oh, there. Get your weapons and armor there. Here, all types for all types of heroes. Don't go facing those monsters unequipped. Arkel's arms. And he only sells potions because I probably haven't. Uh, implemented that yet, so. Uh, I do not like the, uh, the t colored text thing. It just doesn't look very good. Hey there, laddie. Found any busted items in your travels? I can fix them up for a price and make them as good as new. Better even. You bend it, I mend it. Wow, that's from, uh, the Mel Blank show. Okay, so yeah, he can fix a broken shield. Uh, which you need 125 gold, a broken shield, and some ore. Alright, interesting. Same with broken sword, and a frayed boots, apparently. 
So yeah, broken, uh, fixed things are like better than baseline stuff. So sharp sword would be better than my great crown sword, sturdy shield, etc. So I'll have to be on the lookout for broken uh, stuff. Who's this guy? Tom. Hi, name's Tom, because every fantasy setting has to have a Tom in it. <laughs> Care to have a look about my wares? Okay, he's got herbs. Used to brew. Okay, I have a crafting uh, system in mind. That's fun. So, herbs are used to brew healing potions. We've got arrows. Vials. An empty vial used for potions. A petal for mana potions. A root for status potions an animal hide, ore for blacksmithing, and a phoenix feather, which is uh, obviously for reviving allies. Anything to sell? Not really. Okay, and who's this old lady? Mrs. Critbo. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with the idea of Critbo, but hello dearie, would you like to aid an old lady and buy some homemade plate armor? Or perhaps you're more of the male type. Bless my old heart, I've got anything you need. Okay, so eventually she is gonna have be an armor salesman, so that's pretty funny. Silk robe, that's pretty good. And this appears to be a female alchemist. <laughs> Vitriola. Hi there, handsome. What's the matter? Never seen a bald woman before? Well, don't be shy. I have a wide selection of potions straight from the Grand Laboratory. So we got heal potions, heal three potions? Why not heal two? Interesting. Uh, mana potions, antidote, oh, it's basically tea, and then she can brew a, an HP potion, that's, that's confusing, I have to look into that. Maybe, I don't know, it's a little, you know, it seems like it's probably a little over complicated to have herb potions and HP potions, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm going to change it so that it's just like one herb makes a normal healing potion, two herbs makes a, you know, heal two, and three makes heal three. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, it's not, you know, if, if, if an antidote only costs 20 gold. Oh, you just trade it. Okay. Sure. Maybe we'll see if that's worth it. Oh, a little jewelry rack there, like that. Dangeroy. Wow. Stetrydot, Stetrydot. Get your genuine emerald elfish jewelry right here. No emerald currency here. Your gold's as good as any duddies. So the idea with emerald elves is they deal in emeralds, which I thought would be kind of fun because they'd be like a single emerald would be more worth more than you know a single gold piece. But you have to like find them. You have to sell certain things for emeralds. That kind of thing. Got a brass. Oh, interesting. So the accessories on this just kind of give bonuses to everything. Not bad. Brass gives uh, plus one everything. Silver gives plus two to pretty much everything. Wonder why defense is a little behind. Price is definitely need to be balanced because it's only thirty gold for a gold ring. Quartz ring. Focuses on accuracy and agility. Topaz is strength and defense. Garnet is magic and resistance. Agate is just resistance. Yeah, I haven't finished these apparently. And a pearl ring, it reduces frost damage. Oh, onyx protects from fire. Agate uh, defends against shocks. And then you can craft a tooth necklace if you can bring a tooth. It's kind of fun. And a bone necklace if you have a bone. Uh, sure, you know what, I'll buy a, uh, I'll buy a gold ring. Not bad, for not even really having any real fights yet. Go ahead and save. And this guy should probably just ha sell, uh, um, weapons, huh? Weapons and armor here, yeah, if, if, sh if that old lady is selling armor then anyway all right is this the yeah the adventurers guild guildmaster rayoff welcomes you employment for wannabe heroes inquire with it okay so here we have people lined up on the left for what i always wanted to be here oh thank goodness for the adventurers guild do you have anything easier so these guys are signing up for quests 
Aw, come on, rat killing? That's a sissy quest. I'm a level four hero, you know. I could earn a lot of money this way and just think how my reputation will grow. 400 gold? I I won't do it for less than three emeralds. See, so their emeralds are more uh, valuable to them than gold. One at a time, one at a time. So yeah, those ones are trying to sign up to be adventurers, and then I think these ones are signing up for, like, having their quests done. About time the heroes were organized so they could actually get some work done. Proof? Well, he burned my bloody cottage down, didn't he? So he's probably talking about a dragon. I'm sorry, sir, but we need proof or a witness that there's a dragon on the loose. Yeah, let's probably say one at a time. What else do the other ones say? Yes, that's right. Rats. A whole basement full of them. How soon do you think you can send someone to take care of them? Those rats in my basement will never know what hit them. I can't wait to submit my quest. Can I submit a quest to take care of my neighbor? <laughs> what do you think this is? An assassin's guild? Uh, kidding, of course. <laughs> Just a jest. It'd be funny if you said, like, because the assassin's guild is down the street or something. Who's this guy? Hello, Roland. Welcome back. I wonder what he's looking at over there. Ah, okay. Here we go. I always wanted to be a hero. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So who's this guy? There are eight elements. Blade, fire, frost, shock, light, shadow, poison, and projectile. Fire is effective against beasts, but weak against demons. Light is strong against the undead, but weak against elementals. This chart will answer your questions. So, obviously I'm going to update this as well, but basically the idea is... Blade is... What does the circle mean? Okay, I'm guessing plus means that it's strong against it? Yeah, okay, because fire is strong against beasts, but beasts are weak against... Fire and lightning makes sense, because they'd be afraid of it. And then strong against cold. Humans are weak against shadow, but strong against light? Interesting. Basically, I mean, there's a lot of this, but basically what it comes down to is, you know, you got your, your typical elements, and then projectiles are powerful against flying uh, creatures, so. Ooh, magic armor. This month's prize for who can get to level 10 first wins this prismatic robe. Ooh, ah. This rare item is for those embarking into spellcaster territory. It's able to convert fire, frost, or electric energy into healing power. Watch out, however, it won't stop a sword blade. So I'm guessing it absorbs fire, frost, and electric damage. So, kind of a cool item, obviously. Alright, what do we got here? Here's Rayoff. I like this guy. <laughs> I, I uh, just like his, like, teeth and his accent. So he says, Roland, what a su surprise. I thought you were going to start working with Lord Victus. What's this? You get the writ, Ralph. Good heavens, what a shame. I always looked up to lo Lord Victus to think he would let his emotions take control of him. Well then, I suppose we'd best get back to questing, eh, Roland? Unfortunately, there's nothing too exciting today. Just a little, just a few rat quests. Ah, uh, Zai. Something tells me I would have made more money starting an ex exterminator's guild. Now then, here's your quest log. The instructions are all there. I'm sorry there isn't a more epic quest, but it is a good chance to hone your fighting skills. Again, quest, rat killer. So when I first made this game, I just had to like give them quest cards kind of thing. And then you can see quest rat killer. Kill the rats in Mrs. Casey's cellar. Mrs. Casey lives in Crown Town, north of the lake. Return this form signed by patron for your reward. So but now there's ways to like create menus on these games, so I might make like a quest menu type thing, which would be really handy. And uh, oh, it's just a nice balcony. Nice view. Alright back downstairs and start this rat catching quest but not before we explore a bit st. Brian's Abbey mountains storm tower mage guild 
Hi there, we're in the process of trying to find someone to move these boulders and clear the pass. It's been counted as a quest and a reward is available. Obviously that's just a plot barrier for, <laughs> you know, too high level for you or whatever. Uh, oh, is this a cave? Yeah, too dark. Can't go in there. Where am I going to get a lantern? Maybe it's a quest reward, like in Zelda, you know, something mundane, but powerful here. I really like the the uh, <coughs> the, quest, the Kingdom Crossroads thing, though. It's kind of nice. Oh, we got a elf with a golden helmet here. Halt to enter the Emerald Lowlands. You must take a toll of two emeralds. So yeah, you can buy a passport, but you need two emeralds. So I have no idea, like, when, <coughs> you know, you'll be able to find those emeralds, but we'll find out eventually. And this place is Durkinshire. So it's kind of a desert area. Desert and deserted. There's not a soul around. It's locked. Eh, well, at least they locked their chests when they left. Pretty smart. Anyway, not anybody around, huh? Very suspicious. But that's Durkinshire for you. We'll be back, though, don't worry. Alright, now that I've accepted that quest... Save that there, and let's go. Okay, so we know where Mrs. Casey's house is. We saw it earlier. Interesting that there aren't any random battles in the grass, but that is more realistic, so it makes sense that I would take that approach. All right, Mrs. Casey. Knock, knock. Come in. All right. I love how the old ladies have a little cane that they're walking around with and everything. Oh, are you the hero they sent from the Adventurers Guild? Oh, thank goodness. I'm at the end of my rope. Now go on down to the basement and kill them rats. Come back to me when you have ten rat tails. Classic quest. I'll only sign your quest card when you give me ten of those rat's tails. Oh, and here's a picture of the king. Kind of cool. Alright, here we go. Got a basement full of just walking around searching for rats. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, there's a rat. Get it. Warcraft 2 sound effect there. Alright, one. They're supposed to be somewhat re weak, kind of thing, but you know, with this armor, I was able to buy. You know, maybe maybe you shouldn't be able to have any gold in the beginning either. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe they should just. Maybe it's fine that they have you know fewer hit points. Or maybe they should have more dodging ability or something. All right, two more rat tails. We got three. There's like one spot where you can find like something that's more formidable or something. Oh, okay, sometimes they take two hits, alright. Yeah, I swear that like if you step in the corner or something, there's like a giant rat ability, like something that can. Oh well. We'll just do the quest. Uh, oh, he's kept his rage from the last battle. Um, <clears throat> it's probably a little problematic, but I don't really know how to stop that. And I wonder, that, I feel like that could maybe be abused, you know, if you like just grinded a bunch of you know, 
grind it a bunch, and then face the end boss kind of thing. Alright, seven rat tails. Let's get three more. No, just normal rats. Maybe it's the other corner. The armor is fine, but I would love a new weapon, so we'll see if that is something I've programmed at this point. I bet they have 40 hit points based on how many Alright, one more, right? Oh, that's ten. Alright. We're done. I'll only sign a quest card. We have ten round tails. Alright, here we go. Thank you, sir. That will thin their numbers a bit, hopefully. Alright. Now we have a signed copy. Back to Kingdom Crossroads. This is great music. Some of the best RuneScape music for sure. I hope there aren't any bugs in this game that, like, stop me from progressing. Welcome back, Roland. I have good news. I just received a real quest from the castle, but first, here's your payment. 100 gold, that. Well done, Roland. Even though that task was rather dull, it raised you one rank in the Adventurer's Guild. You are now level 3. That's kind of cool. You have a rank system. Now then, Chancellor Fredericus of Grey Crown has sent us a runner to inform us that the Mage's Guild's portal is refusing to function. It appears that its elemental core was stolen. The details the guild gave are not very clear, but you can go speak to Chancellor Fredericus himself for specifics. And don't bother with a quest card, I trust you. Good luck. <laughs> Begin quest, er, quest, the Lost Core. Uh, no quest card for that, so yeah, probably better that I just do a menu in the future, but... Okay, so our first real quest, let's do this. I already read that. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And go back to the castle. I'm glad I explored a little bit because we already know where to go next. Is there something up here? Um. Oh. Oh, look, it's me. I put myself in the game. Black shirt, tan pants. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Hello, Roland. Unfortunately, this area isn't finished yet. Come back when the game's updated. <laughs> I would do something like that in my own game. Put myself in the game. Uh, oh, okay, here are some uh, enemies here. We got some sprites from uh, Lords of Magic. Fun, yeah. Did that just say 19 gold? Ugh, I need to tweak the rewards significantly. Alright, here we go again. Let's go talk to Fredicus. Prince Roland, so glad you were chosen to help our little situation. We haven't been able to import any magic from Storm Tower for quite some time with the portal down. I've realized how dependent on it we've grown. The core has been stolen for about three days, so it's anyone's guess where it might be now. All we know is that it was stolen by someone, or something. Are you up for a bit of investigating, lad? I, I, I always gotta do this in game. I always gotta choose the, um, the no option just to see what they say. Ho ho ho, a fine jest, lad. But you know that question was rhetorical, right? Anyhow, I would, I would suggest that you begin by questioning the Dirks. The Dirk people are our allies, but they are subtle folk with sticky fingers. If one of them did not steal the core, then they can at least be able to help you with espionage. If you follow the road due south of the Adventurer's Guild, you'll find the village of the Dirks. Good luck, Roland. Now, the 
problem is, I went there and I didn't see anybody. So, you yeah, know, what are we going to do now? Yeah, see that child is hopping and floating in the air. <laughs> I think I need a drink. Maybe this rogue knows. No. Alright, let's go to the Durkenshire then. I should probably have a big sign here that says, or shows a map of which all these directions go, because there's like eight different directions, which is kind of cool, but... Oh, who's this? Yes, you have reached Dirk... Her name's Durka. Yes, you have reached Durkenshire. It only appears deserted because most of us do not fancy revealing ourselves to outsiders. Well, okay then. So apparently they can turn invisible when they want to which seems awfully convenient for the purpose of the Lost Core, if you ask me. Nothing? Just empty tables? Oh, there's actually a bigger building over here. Maybe this is their castle. Or a fort of some kind. Not the Grand Fort. Ah, here we go. Halt, we know you're a prince in the country of Grey Crown, but we do not allow just anyone to stroll into the Geddon's chamber. A member of an allied country or not, each must prove himself trustworthy. Speak with the bearded man behind you. What bearded man, you ask? Gion, show yourself. Oh, they, yeah, they can definitely turn invisible at will, apparently. Do you find us frightening, Prince? Our dark skin, our pure white eyes, do they disconcert you? No? Well, good. Welcome to Durkenshire. Most of the time we have outsiders prove themselves by Trock bounty, but we've learned lately that simply thinning their numbers does not exist with the Trocks. You see, we have always been in war with the beastmen Trocks to the east, but lately they've been multiplying at an alarming rate. Our spies have discovered why. They have a queen. This is a mission fit for no Dirk. We are assassins and rogues, not fighters. Since the Trot Queen is heavily guarded, this is something that only a warrior like yourself can do. What do you say, Prince Roland? Will you accept this as your right to trustworthiness? I gotta say, I, I gotta say no again. We'll see what he says, maybe later. This is regrettable. I don't understand your reasoning, but it is your choice. Well, I shall be here waiting for you to reconsider. Eon, the outsider wishes to speak with you again. <laughs> I like it. What about this guy? The long outsider. What do you say, Prince Rome? Will you accept? Bring it on. Capital, like a true hero. Well then, fight your way through the battlefield to the east to Gloomy Glade. There you will find the group, a cave fortress wherein lies the Trot Queen. Return with the Queen's head, and we shall accept you as an honorary Dirk. Apparently you can only pace back and forth in that one area. Kind of funny. And I'm confused at how light can shine in through all directions at once, but oh well. <clears throat> I love how each area has its own coat of arms. The black dagger. Kind of cool. Surprised he didn't disappear. Okay. So I guess we go to the um, gloomy glade. Ooh, we got a big wall here to keep out the trocks. Snakes. Serpents. Ooh, they're biting me. I think I'm poisoned. Yep, I'm poisoned. Oh man, I'm poisoned again. T. There we go. Now I'm no longer poisoned. And I'm poisoned again. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Oh no! Poison makes it hard to run away. Okay, yeah. Clearly I'm not able to do this on my own, so... Alright, let's 
let's go back to town because there was what appeared to be a dirk in the tavern. Maybe he can help me. Just didn't even bother with the trees either. The trees are all just balls of leaves. Oh yeah, he's still here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm part Dirk. My mom's side. My dad was a Grey Crowner. Why do you ask? Have you been questing for the Dirks? They asked you to do what? The Queen of the Trox? That's suicide. Look, if you must do this quest, don't do it alone. Blasted Dirks. My mom's people are sneaks and cowards sending the priests of an allied country to do this. I've never been into the groove before, but I can't help you fight the Trox. What do you say? I must go alone. Prince, the Dirks don't care about anyone but themselves. I should know. I grew up with one who abandoned me. This is more dangerous than you know, but if you think you can do it, be my guest. I've never been in a... Join me. Dace joined the party. Alright, so here's another character. So, rogues can wield torches, apparently, and daggers. Uh, so his SP is energy, basically, like on World of Warcraft, where you have a certain amount, it never goes up, and you use roguery abilities. Uh, also, the more energy you have, the likelier you are to get critical combos when attacking. That's probably not true. I don't think that's programmable. Dexterity is your special, increases poison damage and bonus over time effects, such as slow poison and bleeding. Uh, and the leader bonus is he can attempt to pick locked doors and chests, and he is also half dirk and he can see hidden dirks. Very cool. Also, his attack is kind of interesting. It's basically based on combos. So he'll attack, he'll do you know, the initial damage, and then he has a chance to basically crit, like, two or three times. So, speaking of, let's, uh... Well, first off, let's ask... Now that I have... Now that I know about the Dirks, maybe Fredicus can... give us some more information. What I also need, though, is a, uh... Oh yeah, I think he has to be in front. <clears throat> what are you doing here, Dirk? The prince and I are trying to find the core. Do you have any further information about it? Nothing that Roland hasn't told you already, I'm sure. But please hasten. You are a rogue, are you not? I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Alright. Let's see if there are any Dirks hiding around here. Is there a statue in the middle of the yard? Yeah, there should be. I feel like every two screens there should be a statue of time. I don't know. <clears throat> or maybe there should only be statues of time. No, I like the idea of statues of time. I do want to go and uh, do his training, though. Alright. We've got Dace. Pretty cool. I got the name Dace from Heroes of Might Magic 3. I probably got a lot of names from there, actually. Okay, let's try this. Hello, man. I be the rogue master, Master Perth. And you be a rogue, too? You be wanting to learn a roguery ability from the master? Sure. Okay. Master Perth, like this man in the front of me, to prove your skill as a rogue, you be needing to steal a cog from this training golem and then destroy it. Good luck, man. All right, so ah, that's that's very handy. So so uh, yeah, he's asleep now. Okay, so let's uh, go and pickpocket. Okay, I stole stole a cog and some gold. Nice. That's funny that they put Roland to sleep, so he has to do this alone. Yeah, see, that's how the combo works. There's a small chance of happening, and a small chance of happening again, and so on, so...
surprising that happened twice in a row. What happens if you don't steal the, uh... What happens when you don't steal the, um, cog? Oh, okay. I'm glad that the, uh, there wasn't a bug there, so... Come on. Oh, it's so, like, when I play with Dace, it's really fun because you just keep hoping you'll get a crit every single time. Ugh! Oh, I wonder if it's like a 10% chance or something? What else is there? Oh, nothing. Oh, I, I forgot how this is how, uh, oh shoot. Okay, so this is how it works. If you run out of energy, you use Bide, and then he just sort of waits a little bit. All right, and then he gets all his SP back. Venom Strike, Evasion, I'll try Evasion. Oh, no sound effect, I'll have to add that as well. Maybe that'll make me, uh... Oh, very nice. You is the bomb man done like a true rogue. Haha, <laughs> here I be teaching you a new roguery technique. Arson. <laughs> That's a great ability. Uh, teaches rogues arson. What does arson do? I wonder why it's all the way down there. Oh well. Causes heavy burning damage. I mean, it makes sense, but. I wanted to see up here. Is there anybody up here? Let me check. Ah, okay, so we got three more. So this guy's probably the wizard guy. Doesn't say anything yet, though. That guy's an emerald elf. Master Wonjo. I'm afraid I can only educate rangers. You should go speak with one of the other masters if you want to learn something. And that guy's probably for the healer, because he's in yellow, so anyway. Can't wait to implement them someday. It's kind of a fun mechanic. Oh yeah, what do they say if you've uh, spoken to the master? Uh-oh. There's an error there. Gotta fix that. He should just say something like, you know, good job, I, that's all I have to teach you, or whatever. And what does he say if somebody besides Roland talks to him? Perhaps one day I should let you challenge me and teach you more. Yeah, no, gotta fix that as well. Okay, let's go speak to the Dirks. Because I can see them this time. how many there really are in town. Ah, yeah, there's more of them. What's day? What do they say to Dace? Oh, it's you. Hi. Yeah, they don't seem to like the half dirk among them, it seems. Hello, Dace. Have you changed your mind about living as a Grey Crowner? Yeah, they all want him to stay home, apparently, huh? Dace, visiting your old home, are you? Hello, Dace. Oh, yeah, they all kind of say the same thing. Okay, if I can pick locks... Oh yeah, this is the shop. Oh yeah, see, apparently the wares are invisible too. Uh oh, little error there. It changed into a helmet when I did it. I really don't like this music. Plants vs. Zombies just... Mm, no. Brawn. I've got everything a Dirk would need right here for sale. Healing potions, Dirk armor, and Dirk boots. So yeah, that makes sense for garb. Uh, apparently the boots are free, so gotta fix that as well. But yeah, sure. Let's have uh, let's get some Dirk armor for, uh, and you know what, some boots too. We'll say that I bought it, right? Need an equip menu on that too. All right, Dirk armor, better agility is what that's all about. Nice, very nice indeed. Okay. And what do we got? Yeah, okay, but there's some chests in here. They're locked. Hey, it's Dace, right? Welcome home. Help yourself to my treasure chest. You know the dirt code. If a friend manages to open what you've locked away, he deserves it more than you. <laughs> I like these people. They're interesting. Pick the lock and found a phoenix feather. Pick the lock and found an herb. Those would be nice. Oh, I still have the cog. That's not cool. Gotta fix that as well. Alrighty. Well, kind of fun. 
Now let's go talk to Gion and see if there's like... Same thing, okay. Uh-oh, there's two of them. That's not supposed to be happening. Well, hello, Dace. What are you doing here? Making sure the blood of the Prince of Grey Crown doesn't fall on your country's hands. How droll. It's not our fault you chose to reside in the country of your father's birth, you know. Oh, that's all, huh? I demand to speak with the Geddon. You may be of Dirk lineage, but you are technically a Grey Crowner. The quest to kill the Trot Queen still stands for you, Dace. I guess that still applies. He is an outsider, so... Alright. Well, now we move on to... Well, you know what? We should probably buy some potions and then be on our way to uh, defeat the Troc Queen. There's not really anything to grind, though. Like, I, well, I guess I could have ground, ground some. Uh, oh, let's see. I can brew an herb, right? Yeah, brew an herb into a fresh hit point potion. Ah, uh, costs 35 gold, though. That's. Uh, I might as well just get a bunch of these. Yeah, thir 30 gold gives you 150. 35 plus an herb only gives you 200. Ugh, I don't like that. I think that an herb should just cost like, like maybe no. Well, let's see. Maybe I could make it so that if you craft it yourself, then it's free. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess what we'll have to do is, I mean, how many hit points do our guys even have? 140, 200. But if he's lower than 200, it's probably not going to be even worth the trouble. He'll die. So, hmm. Maybe... I think it'd be probably better to just buy a bunch of these instead. Yeah, there's not really any way to... Alright, I'll save a different slot just in case that was a mistake. Oh, shoot. What was he selling? Oh yeah, arrows, vials. Don't need any of those. Surprised we didn't need a vial to brew the potion. Maybe that's what we should do, you know? Like, it's like you buy... You just need a vial and an herb. That's it. And so the vials cost money, but you can maybe buy them in packs or something. I don't know. This is my game designer brain going here, so... All right. Let's go over the wall and see what there is to offer. Ooh, what are these little imp things? Furnace imps, huh? Hey, got one. How much? So Dace does about 23 damage. Ooh, Dace learned backstab. Roland learned war spin. Yes, I love that ability. Gloomy glade looks more like a desert to me. Going troc hunting? I'm the troc bounty collector for the Geddon, and I'll pay you good money for every troc head you can collect for me. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Apparently he's, he buys other stuff too, so I might as well sell the... Oh, it's worth nothing. Darn. I mean, herb is worth 10 gold. Hmm. Alright. Ah, uh, this music's from Heroes too. Good stuff. Alright. Well... Oh, we got some eagles? Okay, all rocks. Not very big ones. Hey, pretty good combo there. Okay, so he does about 48. And Dace does 32. Hmm. With a chance for a combo, he should probably do a little less. Another Warcraft 2 sound. I love it. Ooh, these things are bad. Uh, let's do Venom Strike, I guess. Oh, of course, that kills it. Dace leveled up twice. Ambush. Okay, gotta try these new abilities. Okay, his SP goes all the way back up at the end of every battle, which is interesting. I don't know how he works very well. Alright, let's get to the Groob, and then we can... Ooh, we got some lizard folk now? This is a good place to uh, grind, apparently. Ok, 
Okay, now his SP is uh, working correctly. So, okay, it's best to uh, oh, steal some hit points from an ally. That's funny. An attack that never misses. That's good for enemies that uh, dodge a lot. Heavy burning damage. And it doesn't cost any SP. Ugh, gotta fix that as well. Because now I'm just going to use that over and over again, aren't I? I wonder if I lost some uh, some uh, progress on this, because I feel like there's a couple things that are missing from this game. Alright, burn that rock. Oh, that was kind of cool. I like that. Alright, so he like sets it. I should probably make a little, you know, click click of him setting like a flint or something. That'd be fine. Oh! <laughs> the bird bled to death in midair, or, or burned, or whatever, that's funny. Holy crap, these are... They're leveling up a little too fast over here, in my opinion. Alright, Trox. So they're little triceratop thingies. Ah, see, I cut off its wings. Kind of fun. Yeah, that desert, I don't know if that desert's a good, uh, like, transition period, because these trucks are fun to kill, but those other things are kind of hard. And not, not, I mean, not that hard, but they sure gave a lot of experience. I'm bad at balancing stuff. Oh, there's another Dirk, Dirk Scout. Remember to study strengths and weaknesses of enemies so you know how to fight them. For example, trucks are dragon men, which means they're weak to poison like men, but strong to lightning like dragons. Ah, okay. Very cool. I wonder if that means Roland is weak to poison. Found a truck head! Nice, we can sell it later. Okay. Uh, oh, what, what was that down there? Hey, that was cool. I'm guessing if they just take any sort of blade damage, they lose their wings, maybe? What's in here? Oh, a broken statue of time. Does it still work? Nice. Found a bone. Make a bone necklace later. Oh yeah, it still works. The head's uh, eyes glowed. Uh, alright. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. Level ups are keeping us healed. What's up here, though? Oh, I bet these are the spooky woods. Okay, that's a glitch, too. Uh, woods. Because these should be completely dark if we don't have a lantern, in which case we don't, so... Oh, man. We're trapped in webs. Okay, that shouldn't have sounded like a man. That's funny. Oh, something's clawing out of that web. Oh, it's a webbed prisoner. Can I can I save them? Hmm, that's kind of weird that there's some webs on places where there aren't any heroes yet. Okay, we're out of the webs. I want to I want to free that prisoner. Is it like a Oh, it's a gray crown soldier. Let me out! Oh, I killed him. Ew, crunchy. All right, that was that was an interesting battle. So apparently, if you attack the web's prisoner, it kills him as well. Which is sad. Maybe we should have burned him out. Hey there, Dace. Beware of bears and forests like these. I always run away when I come upon them. They're just too strong. Good to know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Speak of the devil. How, how strong are they, though? Ooh, lots of defense. How much damage do they do? Oh, it's fine. We got him, right? Let's just do a Venom Strike. Uh-oh. 
Uh, oh, uh, fire. Beasts are weak to fire. Yeah, it should go. Alright, he's burning. Uh, I'll hamstring him so I'll lower agility. Oh, that was dumb. He doesn't have a very good dodge anyway. Oh, that was a three, uh, three part crit. Just called it Devastate. Very rare when it happens. What else we got? Uh, leap. Interesting. I wonder what the benefit of that is. Maybe it makes you untargetable for a little bit. Ooh, that was a big bite. Alright, I need a little bit of, uh... Okay, I need a backstab. Takes a little bit of uh, health from him. Wow, okay, alright. Not a bear tooth. Alright, what do we got here? Chainmail, okay. Uh, I believe that that is the entrance to uh, Crown Town, so that's cool. Ooh, a bandit. <laughs> got a human here. Uh, I think he's... Oh shoot, this is so weird that the... Uh... Okay, well, go ahead and buy it, I guess. Okay, I think humanoids are weak to poison, so let's do that instant poison attack and see what happens. Ooh, he can crit too, that's not good. Weird, that seemed to mute it for a little bit. Like, silence my spell casting or something. Oh, what's this, a will-o'-the-wisp? It is. Huh, wonder what its deal is. I feel like it should be more resistant to blades or something. Okay, so, all right, go ahead and kill this thing. Alright, as we prepare to descend into the groove, you're gonna have to wait till next time to see what's in here. Thanks for watching, this is a fun game. I can't wait to update all the graphics because oh, some of them are kind of painful, but it's also got kind of its own charm to it and the abilities are interesting. So anyway, I'm gonna go over the stuff that, the errors that I found this time, fix a few things up, and then tomorrow, not tomorrow, next time, we will see what is in the groove of the Trox. See you next time.